Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook, Serve, Delicious. My name is Bear Daffy. We are in a one-star restaurant, finally, having finished off day 20 in our active menu. Has changed a little bit as a result, or rather it has the potential to change now, because of our ability to uh, pick up specialty foods that are available, you know, the kind of breakfast stuff that they want to sell us now. So uh, we've unlocked the coffee, of course, which we did pick up. We've got ourselves some hash browns available, the breakfast sandwich, the pancakes, all that good stuff. But uh, I think I want to focus right now. Well, first of all, we should look at these bets here. Uh, see whether or not we're capable of doing any of these ones. I don't think we have all these things. Let's just go ahead and double check. Pizza, soup, soda, and ice cream. Oh, we got soup, pizza, soda? Do we have soda? I think, no, we don't have soda. That would be the only one we'd have to get, but of course we don't have any silver tickets either, so I suppose I should have considered that beforehand. <laughs> so, not gonna be able to do that one. We're gonna have to take lasagna off, probably replace that with fish real fast, just to get that extra buzz and a really simple pe er, uh, menu item going there. And I might throw in coffee too. Coffee's a pretty reasonable uh, staple food to have on the menu, so we'll go ahead and throw that on there as well. I'm excited about the prospects of One Star Restaurant, man. That is exciting stuff. Uh, upgrading the soup actually is a pretty good idea too right now. We do have $1,100. I don't know if we really need to get any equipment right now. Maybe we should look at that and see if that's a priority. We've already picked up most of the stuff that I consider necessary, so we'll go ahead and just skip out on that. I'm going to upgrade the soup for $800 because that doubles, nearly effectively doubles the menu price of that option. And it doesn't really get that much more complex. Soup is a... Uh, Obviously a pretty complicated menu item, but the, uh, second, the, the second level upgrade doesn't really make things too crazy, so I think we'll be okay with that. Daily Buzz is looking pretty strong at 63%. Of course, we've got a little bit of a negative detractor from the work liquor and the uh, munchies and morning aroma, but should be good. Let's go ahead and start off with day 20. I really hope I didn't forget anything special that we were doing here, because I, uh, I am, of course, playing this as both a, uh, a Twitch stream thing and a YouTube series, so sometimes I get those two save files mixed up in my brain, but pretty sure we're good to go here. I think we're going to have a really solid day 21. How many orders are we up to right now, by the way? 1,082, so we're doing pretty well. Making some solid progress. I think we're going to get to the point pretty soon here where we're going to make a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of cash in one day, which is going to be fantastic. A little bit of bomb guy there, by the way. I always got to enjoy that. The B-O-M-G, baby. You know how it we do. Yes. 63% buzz, so we should be seeing a, uh, a bit of an influx in the morning, the morning hours here. Of course, we're not going to see any kind of crazy rush hour type consistency. I believe you have to get up to like 90 or 100% buzz before you start to see just consistent orders streamlined through uh, the entire day as opposed to j only getting those kinds of or getting that kind of popularity during your rush hour so we got a little bit more buzz to go before we get to that kind of domain uh, but you know we can also uh, try to save up for some of those high ticket items and maybe boost up our buzz that way I know uh, of course uh, soup gives you a good amount of buzz just at any point that you uh, choose to use it so that's a solid option to have just about all the time uh, okay, cheese, bacon, gun, pepper, greens, and carrots. The 3,000 is one that I have, uh, I should honestly just be able to, uh, look at the, look at the, or not the ingredients list, but the, um, the recipe name. That's the one I'm looking for. The Bonga Hype with the Manhattan. Very good. Gonna have a lot of salads today, apparently, which is totally fine by me. Yeah, the 3,000 is one that I've, uh, become a bit more familiar with, so ho hopefully it's one that I can, uh, just recognize the name of at some point and be able to immediately prepare that dish with ease. That'd be fantastic. Now, salad as well. It's a salad in general, man. It really doesn't become that expensive at any point. Ooh, the vegetable soup. Okay, so this one's a little bit tricky. You gotta do tomatoes, carrots, celery, and cabbage, as well as the red peppers thrown in there. We got another one, too. Some people have been telling me they like to, uh... They like to do the vegetable soup in alphabetical order or something like that. Or not alphabetical order, rather, but uh, left to right order on the keyboard if you happen to be using the QWERTY layout, which the majority of people do. Bonga hype! But, uh, I don't know, I kinda just... I, I take preference to, uh, to doing them in the order that they're shown on the recipe list. Mostly because the majority of the time I see, uh... I see recipes, or I see foods that list their recipe ingredients in order of when they uh, show up on the card. So, or not on the card, but on the uh, key bindings and in the ingredient list. So that's, I don't know, that's just become kind of my personal preference way of handling things. Some people will even just reassign all the key bindings to what's 
the most convenient buttons for them to press. It doesn't even necessarily have anything to do with the, uh, the ingredient that is listed or the letters within that ingredient, so... I don't know. It's all about personal preference in the way of playing this game. I really like that they, uh, oh, first of all, I really like that I got that 5% buzz boost right before the rush hour here. That's gonna be awesome. Chicken noodle soup, of course, pretty easy to deal with. But, uh, I really like that they have allowed you in this game to, uh, really customize it exactly to your liking. I'm, I'm glad that the key bindings are completely editable and you can just pretty much do things however the hell you damn well please. It's quite nice. Another veggie soup. So yeah, again, it would be like uh, it'd be like A D T Y L. I guess would be the way that you uh, that you do the veggie soup if you were to do it in the uh, in the order of the keys on the keyboard. But again, not really my my cup of tea or cup of soup even. <laughs> Let's try it that way though. So we're gonna go like that. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. So that would be that way. Eh, I don't know, man. It's it's not that big of a difference, I guess. Not really saving or losing time either way, so... Whatevs, yo. Whatevs, yo. Alright, we're gonna be heading into rush hour number two here. We've got a decent amount of orders today, and we got some tips as well. These are going pretty damn good. Soup du jour is another one I should get a little bit better at doing. Oftentimes, I'll uh, accidentally... ...flick twice to shop instead of three times, and then just... ...you know, customers just have my head over that. You know how it is. You know how we do around here in Bears Beers. Get a little bit of an overpour or no seasoning on the fish. Well, I guess no seasoning on the fish is a reasonable thing to be a bit, a bit upset about, but... All this other nonsense. These customers are just so uppity. It is ridiculous. Alright, chicken, noodle, seasoning, potatoes, carrots. Bear Stobo soup is another one of those slightly more complicated soup options, but... Not that big of a problem. Bonga hype! Yeah, baby! That was Jesus, um, greens and carrots, alright, chicken noodles, seasoning, potatoes, carrots, and cabbage. There we go, send that one out. We're gonna do the dishes real fast before doing that other soup order. Uh, I'm gonna send out this rat as well. Send him on his way, if you will. There we go, alright, that was handled pretty freaking wonderfully. There's beer out the door, we're gonna send that soup as well. Coffee and creamer with the sugar, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, cube seasoning, tomatoes, do -do 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 -do. nice, and then take care of the toilet too. Very good! Alright! I uh, think we might be on our way to a perfect day at the end of the day here. Not bad. Two mid chocolate chip and nuts, no problem. I am really hoping that they uh, actually afford me another... Another golden ticket, or not a golden ticket rather, but a silver ticket. And oh my goodness. That, right there, the fully loaded coffee. I speak that man's language. He is the, uh... He is the kind of coffee guy I would sit down with at the local cafe. Because neither of us will be judging the other for their for our coffee preferences. We'd just be like, oh hey, you like stuff to taste good too. I'm glad we're I'm glad we're sharing that sentiment. I don't know how people can enjoy black coffee, man. That's just baffling to me. Black coffee. It just it just tastes so bad to me. But maybe I I have undeveloped taste buds or something like that, I suppose that's entirely possible. We got a 75 combo today, though, man. Look at that. Look at that. That feels good. Alrighty. 37.5% positive buzz. We got uh, $714. $36 in tips as well. Not bad. Not bad. Chef Risotto congratulates me. Oh, we got two mysterious tickets. You seem to be moving along quite well. While no time at all, you'll be ready to compete in my television show. Mmm. Alrighty. Not bad. Squeeze me, love wheels! Don't get in trouble by having a blowout and driving off the road! Got all of t tears right here! These tires don't run all American and all awesome! No error or anything! Call 220 for tire deals great and no baristas, please! <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, click and start. This is a good one, too. Are you a restaurant entrepreneur? Entrepreneur? Who's looking to invest in new and exciting products for restaurant use? Look no further than click and start. Well, soon we'll be offering new and exciting projects to invest in via email. The only requirements are that you own a certified two-star restaurant establishment and have the passion to make projects come together with just a simple investment. So we'll get uh, emails from this system soon that will uh, hopefully provide me with pretty sweet upgrades to some of this stuff. But uh, for now, let's have a look at our... Well, we still don't have any silver tickets, I guess. So let's take a look at the active menu and see whether or not we need to switch anything out. We could very well just roll with the same exact ingredient, or, uh, uh, freaking menu here again today. 
wonder if I can upgrade my fish right now. I can't. Oh, I'm so close to it. That's a worthwhile upgrade right there. That doubles the price of the fish, and it's still the uh, exact same procedure for it, too. So that is entirely worthwhile if we can manage to get it. Oh, but we can upgrade pizza here to get the surplus of anchovies, but it's only in a $2 menu price increase. It doesn't really seem like it's worth it for $1,000 at the moment. Pasta is a little bit more expensive with the white sauce and spices, but makes things a bit more difficult, too. I think I want to save up for the fish. That just seems like it's entirely worthwhile to me. So we might just, instead of upgrading, maybe buy one of these cheaper foods. What can we get, though? Hmm. Let's go back to the standard. I wish I could afford steak right now, because steak is fantastic. Wine is super sweet as well. Well, not in real not in reality, but, you know... Sweet like the kids are saying. Super sweet, bro! Is that how he talks, bro? Super sweet, man, that's cool! 73% buzz. I think we're good to just go to the active menu and uh, carry on my wayward son with the way things are going right now, so... Let's do it! I have no quarrel with, uh, with carrying on with the procedure that's working, so... Let's get it done, baby. First double soup to start us off, coffee and some creamer. We're looking for, uh, I think we're looking for another perfect day here. Well, okay, obviously we're looking for another perfect day. We're always looking for a perfect day. But, uh, getting over $1,500 to get that fish upgrade is gonna be fantastic. If I can do a little bit more than that, if I can get up to maybe, like, uh, well, actually, I'll, I gull guess I'll have to, uh, I'll have to make an internal de decision based on my, on my performance here today. If I can manage to acquire enough money to either buy the wine or the steak, I'm gonna have to really consider getting one of those two menu options because those are uh, really solid either one. In fact, getting the wine... Wine is kind of annoying to make, but uh... Oh shit. There we go. Nice. Uh, wine is kind of annoying to make, but you get up to the point where you've upgraded wine for a little while and then you start serving wine at like $40 a bottle or something like that. And it can really add up quick. I mean, it costs... I don't know, it probably costs like $8,000, not even exaggerating, to get up to that point where you're selling wine for $8 a bottle. Or, not $8 a bottle, <laughs> $40 a bottle. But, uh... It could very well be worth it to uh, start down that path. Alright, so this is the 3000 I was talking about, so it's... It's a... It's a CBOG, so it's a CBOG. Or I could try to come up with another, uh... What is the word for that? It's like a... A way in which you, uh, remember something based on the letters or the words involved in that thing. I remember what that is, man. That would be a... That'd be a cool word to know. If we pull that one out of my vocabulary. Uh, veggie soup here as well. Damn. Alright, we're getting a lot of soup orders right now. Holy cow. Alrighty, yeah. We got five soup orders. Holy shit. Send that one out. Send that one out, too. There we go. My god. Um... I nearly accidentally hit four again there. That would have been really bad. I'm gonna send that one out too. I think we got all four of the uh, other ingredients for that one. Holy cow! That was a uh, that was a whole big mess of soup right there. We're gonna get a bunch more of them too, I guess. Nice. All right, got that fish. Take out the trash. Right now, good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I I've got to come up with the uh, whatever that word is for these. Uh, for these salad combos, because I did that for uh, for one of the soup things that we'll go come across later on, I'm sure, and it's helping me out to an extraordinary degree. So we'll have to think about that. We'll have to think about that whenever I'm given, whenever I'm given the opportunity to do so. So Thousand Island cheese, onions, and peppers is a TCO. The thousand peppers, the thousand peppers is a cot. The thousand peppers is a cot. If I remember that, that's actually very useful. Because I can just hit cot when I see Thousand Peppers, and that makes it go by so much more quickly. So I gotta remember stuff like that. The Thousand Peppers is a cot. It's a weird sentence, but if I make that association in my head, it's gonna make things so much more uh, fluid for me. So, chicken... It's, so it's K-W-S-P-A-L. K-W-S-P-A-L. I'm never gonna be able to create something from that, am I? Oh, man. It's hard to think about those kinds of things while I'm, uh... Oh, hey, the Thousand Peppers. We missed out on the cot there. So I was trying to talk about something else in the meantime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be real tough to come up with on the fly, but... Oh, the cot! There we go. Oh, damn it! That wasn't a cot! No! Oh, shit! 
Oh, when I think I have the cot, it is not to be bought. I, I am filled with rot and all sorts of pot. Not really. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're gonna have a whole bunch of this stuff going on again. The soup du jour is not really one that, uh, necessitates that sort of memory assistant. I can just go ahead and, uh, remember those things. Or, uh, you know, do them one by one, I suppose. Don't really need that much help in that one. So it looks like I'm gonna miss out on the... Oh, so that's the thousand tomatoes. Okay, the thousand peppers. There we go. So that's the one I was looking for. The big salad is not that difficult, so I don't really have to worry about anything to remember that. Baristobo is that one, yeah. But I mean, like, I'm still remembering these things. Uh, remembering what they actually require without too much difficulty. So I suppose it's not necessary to create something like that for every single one. But of course, it would help. It would help to have that sort of, uh memory assistant, as we've been discussing. Uh, chicken noodle soup is a pretty easy one, too. I don't really have to worry about that. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, noodle soup, blah, 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 there we go. And eventually it just becomes muscle memory, too, so you don't necessarily have to remember it for every single one. You can just, uh, kind of do what you would do. Oh, God, I missed another thousand peppers there. That was so silly. I've been so slow about those recently. Alright, there's the tomato seasoning and the carrots and the celery. There we go. Ranch cheese and the bonga! So I do have the bonga. That one I've got down pat, I guess. No problems there. So I might get up to two thousand dollars, in which in which case I would probably uh, splurge on the wine. But if I uh, if I get close with no cigar, I'm I'm probably just gonna go for the uh, go for the fish upgrade here. Well, it's looking like I should be able to get up to that two thousand dollar mark. I'm not expecting to get any kind of monetary bonus after this one. We don't really serve a lot of coffee around these parts anymore, do we? Well, the buzz is pretty high up. 78% buzz is pretty fantastic. There's exactly 2,000 bucks, so I do have the potential of buying the wine now. If I, uh, so desire. God, if only I hadn't messed up that... silly little order, the BCT, the BTC. I don't remember what recipe that was, though, so... I guess it's not really helping me out that much to try to remember the letters for that. Alright, there we go. I'm starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit faster at chopping vegetables, too. I'm starting to recognize the, uh, the way in which that can be manipulated to go a bit faster. It's all about just precise key button pushing, as they, as they say in high society. Alright, so we'll have just over two grand, which is pretty good. Pretty good. 74 perfect and one average. Oh, man. No negative buzz as a result of that, luckily, but, uh, missed out on 250 bucks, which does hurt. Anytime you're given the option of having $250 or losing it, obviously you want to go with the former. They get another sil silver ticket here, too. Oh! The lawsuit People vs. O'Hara has been settled. Your judgment is below under the grounds that you stay within 100 yards of any fire hydrant. All attorney fees have been taken out of your portion of the funds you received today. Oh. Well, that's fun. $50 for free. Let's go to the CSD. Anyone up for the Cook So Delicious Restaurant? Call me! No one will call you. When you send out an email like that, no one's gonna call you. Just... Even if you have friends that you consider close... Could be the best of friends, but if you send out an email that says, Call me... No one's gonna call you. Just... Just accept it. Still got 67% buzz. Of course, we got some food route going on, too, so we're going to take off the fish, probably replace it with the lasagna here. All these are staple foods, so we don't necessarily have to take them off. Although, if we were, took out beer, it would boost up our uh, buzz immediately. I don't know if we can replace it with anything. Let's find out. We could put pasta on there, but I don't really like pasta that much. Maybe we'll roll with it. I can buy wine. Actually, wine is... Uh, oh, I can't afford wine. What can I afford? Steak. Oh! I thought I could get it with 2,000. I'm so close to steak, but I think I want that fit, but I can't afford, I can't use the fish upgrade if I buy it right now, so maybe that's not the best idea, maybe, maybe I'll, uh, hang on to this money here, and save up for either the steak or the wine, I think that's a good idea, I'll do that, alright, we'll look forward to that next time here in Cook, Serve Delicious, thanks so much for watching everybody, I'll see you next time.